Okay, kiddos, welcome back. Here's our little story. And it's got this fella in it. He is just awesome looking. The author crushed it with his covers of his book and drew me right in. I said, that is awesome. I don't know what it is, a goat or a ram. Maybe you like one, I don't know. It is just, it's just the color. These horn antler things, his face, everything's awesome about this guy. I was like, I have to read about this guy living on rocks. Then I looked up here and I said, what does this say? Well, you know what it says. We love this word. Animals, we love these creatures. Animals, and what about them? Animals, sorry, there's no S at the end. H says ha, huh? O-R says whore, and an end to it. We have horns, animal horns. Is he going to blow a horn for us? Do they play the trumpet? I don't know. It's I'm so excited. But, oh, golly, that is awesome looking. Don't be so sad. You got cool horns. Right? There's a title page. Read it with me. Animal horns. All right. So this is definitely a big kid nonfiction book because we got a section in here called Words to know, to know, to know, to know. Ooh, boy, all right. You're definitely need some partner power for this one. Okay, we have antelope. Curved. Say it with me. Say fighting. Horns. Whoop, get out of there. Horns. Look at this big word. Scratching and straight. Wow, these are big words. All right, you point them out if you see them. Maybe we can figure them out. There are massive words, though. I didn't know animal horns were so technical. All right, fella, we'll see you on the inside. Here we go, diving in. All right, how are animal yeah. horns different? What are you kidding? Have you ever seen anything like that before? He's got one, two, three, four sets. So four horns in all different directions. Yeah. He's got some great protection going on right here. Does it look like a cow? It's like a cow with four horns and a really cool fur. I mean, he bet, I bet he's really warm in that. It's like walking around in a sleeping bag. <laughs> All right, let's see if that helps us. I don't know. I don't know. All right, he's got no fur on his feet. His poor feet, his poor ankles are going to get cold. Okay, there's the words to know. I don't know. Some of them are in there. Okay, T-H says th. E-R-E -E says air. I don't know why, but it just does. There. What's the pirate site? R. M-A-N says man. Y says E. We have. There are many kins. Kins doesn't quite make sense. Let's make it a long I. Kinds. There are many kinds of animal horns that's the title of the story that was easy to crush all right there's that dude i knew we would see him again look at him his ears are down here his horns are going up his ears are going down he's squinting at me i can't tell if he's angry or sad or i don't know what he wants he's got a lot of stuff going on though does, or she i don't read i don't know a lot of stuff going on Loves the water, though. The water's just fine. Maybe he's like, hey, the water's just fine. Don't come on in. Or maybe I want you to come in. I don't know. Whoa, look at these words right here. Right away, I'm like, look at these words. Okay, let's see what we got here. T-H says, the I-S says, is this what? E-R says, er, this water. B-U-F says, buff. This water buff. Hey, hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Put it together. Give me a buffalo. Not just any buffalo, guys. Say this water buffalo. A-S says as. We have has. This water buffalo has. What does he have? Big horns. That is awesome. There's a pattern right there. We have unlocked pattern power. Big horns. We've seen that already. He does have big horns. Big horns. He's a big horn. Look at this guy. It's a lizard, like a chameleon. Look at that eye. But look at these dudes. He's like a triceratops. Why did I call him a triceratops? Well, tri means three. One, two, three. It's like carrots growing out of his head. He's loving it. He 
He is loving it. He's like, look at my horns, people. We're looking at them all right. Look at that. Okay, guys, this is a tricky word. I promise you, though, once you figure it out forever, it will be super duper easy. TH says the IS says is. We have it. This L I Z says Liz. A R D says Ard. You put it together, you have this lizard has. I wasn't expecting this. Okay. L says L I says Li. You add two T's, but just give me one T. One t. You have lit. Now add the L again. Little. Let's put that together, make it make sense. Confirm our word choice. This lizard has little, and you know this is horns. I wasn't expecting to go in that direction. I mean, for a lizard, that looks like big horns for him. I mean, how much bigger do they have to be for them to consider that was big? I mean, the lizard's only going to be like this, like that. I don't know. I didn't write the book. Just trying to figure it out. Now this guy, look at that cow. Huge horns. Pointy at the end. You better watch out. You're going to pick someone's eye, poke someone's eyeball out. You know, he looks so nice and friendly. And he's just hanging out in a field of flowers. What a nice picture. It should be someone's wallpaper on their computer, right? Okay, let's look at here a little closer. Let's look a little closer. And what do we have? There's that word again. This Get off of there. This. Here's a new word. B says B. U says uh. Let's try that. Ball. Ball. This ball. This ball. It sounds so close, doesn't it? It's a bull. This bull has. You guessed it. Long, right? How do you know it's long? L says L O N G says on. Tell your friends. Long. This bull. Reread with me. This. Hold on. Hold on. This bull has long horns. He's a longhorn. You ever heard that? That's what he is. <laughs> Ooh, what a pretty looking, goatish looking thing. Right? And he is up on the side of a cliff. Yikes, be careful, man. Let's see what these words are all about. All right, okay, let's try this. There's that word, this, but that's not the hard part. This is the hard part. We know this is a word to know. This is one of our trick words. If you didn't remember what it was, I'll help you. M says, mm. O use a super duper vowel team that says, ow. We add an N that says, mm. We have mountain. This mountain, mountain what though? G O says, go. The A just is silent. He says, oh, you can say your name. Go at the T. We have a goat. We have a this mountain goat. Has what's this word? S H sh O R or t short short horns. Does he have short horns? You decide. I don't know. Let's reread it together anyway. Let's sell it, people. This mountain goat has short horns. If you say so. Wow, I would say those are very long and pointy. I don't know if that's going to help us, though. And look, those are like those rings from the worm. Ringy. Ringy dingy. And nice nice face paint, right? That is some quality face painting. It's his fur collar, but it's pretty cool either way. I, don't, I have no idea what it is, too, by the way. I don't know what kind of animal that is. That's going to help us. Letter powers will save the day. This is definitely one of those words to know. If you don't remember what it is, we're going to have to use letter powers. Here we go. This A-N-T says ant. E-L says L. Antle. O gets to say O because the E at the end is silent. This antelope kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Has... Whoa, look at this word. This is another one of those words to know. If you didn't know it, let's fire up some letter power. Serious letter power. S-T-R is a super blend. It says stir. There's a super vowel team. A-I. The I is silent. The A says A. We have an A. Just say A. Say stray. Stray. The G-H. Skip it. It's a ghost. He's not even there. Go right to the T. We have straight. Straight what? Straight horns. Let's reread that. Our letter power almost exhausted everything. We got to fire up some reread power. This antelope has straight horns. He sure does. They're in the shape of what letter? You know it, a V. 
Whoa, check out this guy's roundy horns, right? What does he use those for? Woof. Do they keep going around and around? Look at how they're like layers of horn after horn after horn after horn. I don't know. Some kind of goat or a ram maybe, right? He loves the rocks too, I think. Or no, that's him. He's just laying down. He's taking a nap or a break. He's... He's just stopped for a moment to have his picture taken. It's his photo photo shoot here. Whoa is right. Here we go. Okay, this doesn't look so bad. There it is. This. And you never would have guessed what this is. So we got to use some letter power. S-H says sh double E, super E, say E. This sheep. This sheep. It's not the kind of sheep we're used to, is it? This sheep has look at this word c says c u r's of bossy r that says er we have a cur add the v to it you have a curve e d says d curved let's reread that this sheep has curved horns he sure does i like roundy horns better though personally oh look at this guy look what he does with his horns he's not poking himself it uses him as a back scratcher. Careful, I don't poke too hard, but he, po he back scratches with him. And he's a hit around the campfire for making roasted marshmallows. And there's our straight horn fellers. And look at them. They're having a contest. Who has the longest straight horns in all the land? And look, they're making the ground smoke around them. Or dust. They're kicking up dust. They must be really going at it, ramming into each other. Well, isn't that why they're called rams? Was it a ram? It was a goat. It was a goat. Either way, they like ramming each other with these horns. Gosh, that's dangerous. They had to be really careful. They should at least wear a helmet. Protect their eyes. Proper ears and eyes. Eyes and ears, people. Safety first. All right, guys, we have a mess of words here. This has to be the last page. The conclusione was ringing home. Two sentences, one at a time. We're going to tackle these guys. All right, S-O-M is a sight word that says some animals. You gets to say you because of the silent E, so we say use. Some animals use their horns for S-C-R says skr, A-T says ah. Scratchy, it says scratch. Ing says ing. Some animals use their horns for scratching. All right, sentence number two. Stos. T h e says the at a y becomes they. They. M a y says may. They may. A l says all. S o says so. Say also. They may also use. We've seen that word already, right? They may also use. There's there. They may also use their horns for. F-I says phi. G-E-H is silent. Say t fight. I-N-G says ing. Let's try that again. They may also use their horns for fighting. Yes, I know we probably figured that out, that much out already. Horns for fighting. Horns for scratching. Horns for showing off their hornness. Very good. I don't know what this guy uses his horns for. It doesn't look like he can scratch himself. Maybe it's for fighting. Who knows? I've never seen it before. But what do you think this guy was using his horns for? I don't know. Great story. Interesting. Nonfiction. What does nonfiction mean? It means it is about real things. Why do we learn about read about the real things? To learn so that we can become content experts and teach our friends how amazing the world around us is. Guys, if you want to become a super reader just like me, remember to practice your letters and letter sounds every day, your sight words every day, and read every day, and you too will become a super duper rooper sight word reading wizard. All right, until the next story, toodaloo.